Hey everybody, just finished an afternoon session on Hepburn with uh, my mate Chris. Um, it was really tough, but, and we didn't see a fish move I should point out, but um, when it is really tough you can still find a way to grind out some fish and we did manage to do that and manage to create some chances. So hopefully, yeah, watching this video gives you a few tips, a little bit of insight into, you know, grinding out fish when the conditions are tough because, you know, sometimes um, it's not always going to be good out there. You're not always going to get sight fishing, so sometimes you've got to find an alternative. So hope you find the video helpful and enjoy it. Do you want to go left or right? Um, let's go, we'll duck up here, have a quick look. I think, like, I think the thing about, that people forget about these lakes is that we all fish them in winter because when they're fishing at their best we all want to be on the rivers so october was like peak last season on the they were amazing um let's fish back through this stuff i reckon because yesterday my chance came just on the shelf up into that point there yeah i reckon Absolute giant. What's the biggest fish you've got out here? Uh, probably. Probably only six actually. That's still good fish. Yeah. Bigger out of, of course, bigger out of the other one actually. Got it. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it's amazing how every cast when you're like, please give me a fish <laughs> and it happens. <laughs> nice little brown. Look at him. Well, nice little loose fish there. And I was just ticking around blind. Chris and I have pretty much just rolled around. It's gonna be hard. So, uh, that guy ate that. It's gonna keep ticking along. That's what I like some days when nothing's happening. You just gotta keep pushing, pushing, and then you'll create a chance somewhere and you've gotta capitalize. The fish are good too. I wonder if they, um, because I fished it at Marimba as well when we were there. And it wasn't as good as it was up high. But that was like uh, April, I think I was there. So, 
yeah, I don't know if it was just when I was there. But there were so many more fish up in the pockets. There he is. <laughs> he was from the other side of that weed pocket. Man, it's been a grind, but... Ah, it's about the same as the other. They're just going hard. It's nice when a fly change works. He's a solid one. Oh, yeah, he looked, yeah. He looked a lot bigger when I saw him. He looked big out wide, yeah. When I saw him jump. Nice. Sick, man. That was your chance. Chris just made the big error of when it's tough and you get a chance, don't miss it. <laughs> you know, chances don't just come around every five minutes. I know, they come around every four hours. <laughs> I guess a big key when I'm on the lake and I'm fishing blind and grinding out a few fish like we're doing today um, is keep moving. When you don't have fish moving, they're not on top, you can't see anything, you don't necessarily know if you're in good water or not. You think you are, but the way to fish the percentages, keep moving, fish blind in a little section, move to another spot, keep moving, keep ticking around, and you'll generally find, as we found today, that you know a chance will pop up here and there, and that's what you're looking for when it's really tough. Got him off the tree. <laughs> oh, missed him. Gah. Oh. Gah, oh, damn it. Oh, that hurts. All right, as far as the gear setup, I like uh, in these conditions. Um, Line-wise, intermediate is so versatile. So I'll always pick an intermediate of some sort. Rod 10 foot, very standard for me on the lakes. 10 foot, six weight, this sort of lake. Um, fly wise and leader wise, two flies spaced as far apart as you can. 10 foot is what I've gone with today. Um, I've actually gone five foot to my top fly, 10 foot to my second fly. And fly choice wise, I want some color. Like I've got a coral there that caught one of the fish. Um, and then I actually changed a Shrek, which I had on the point initially to the orange pink damsel, and that caught my second fish there. Um, I like the color just because when nothing's happening and you just can't find them and you don't necessarily think they're on naturals it's just good it gets their attention it's something different if these fish were up um, rising they're chasing bait fish something like that i'd have a completely different set of flies on um, but when nothing's happening um, i feel these styles of flies um, just catch that one random fish that makes a session for you so um, keep it simple don't change flies too much and just keep grinding them out and yeah, the chances normally just randomly pop up and that's what you're there for sadly when the conditions are tough and the fishing is really tough like it is today. Oh 
no! Yeah, really good one. Oh, on the hang. Oh, wow. How did that not go in? He's still behind it. Oh. There? Yeah. He was behind it a second time. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope you got something out of it. It can be a little bit mundane when you're just grinding out fish, but you don't have much other option. And it's, you know, it's, I, for me, I know I'd rather be out on a lake casting and fishing than sitting on the couch, especially when there are fish to catch, even in some of the some of the toughest conditions in the middle of winter. So, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget the gear. Um, I've got links and descriptions of that below. Click the drop down, you'll see it in the description with the info for the video. And I'll see you next post. Thanks guys. That's wet. <laughs> Dude, I just took a hell of a swim. <laughs> that was epic. <laughs>